Look, everyone, it's snowing. It's a miracle. A winter's day miracle. But not really. I just realized my audio is like really loud. A little more acceptable. Okay. So it's winter's day event. And there's new stuff like this. Obey the law and we'll have I, no problems. I just want my present. Give me. Alright. This is another Winter's Day skin. Rudolph the Red Nosed Jackal. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a, an actual occurrence with like a reference or not. Like name and otherwise. And that is why it is not a miracle. It is never a miracle once there's science involved. And also notably, there is new events and things that take place. From this little donation drive that involves, um, like, food items to a mountain race that happens straight from over here and goes throughout the city. It's like somewhere around here that it just sort of does some weird other trips and movements. Back to somewhere in there. What's this? Karma booster. Oh boy. As it is now Winter's Day, that means essentially you have something to report. There is all kinds of karma gain out of all of this. Do I have any other boosters? Mm. Does boost karma gain? Yes. Stay calm. What? Stay alert. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. No. Can I eat any of these? Eat fruitcake. Aww. Oh. Well, I can become a snowball!
not so merry, um, angry snowball. <laughs> many tox. Not as many as I would have expected, but okay. <laughs> it still tickles my feather exactly how massive this mini is. <laughs> Now with leveling out of my way, and so on and so forth, I've already gotten all the um, specialization stuff out of the way. I did ahead of time look into a build for this class, the Soul Beast Elite Specialization. And let's see. I'm pretty sure it's more specific for world versus world, but you know what? I'm gonna try it in <laughs> PvE anyway. But um, before I actually at all use anything to the build itself, I did want to kind of point out what the Soul Beast really is in terms of weapons, in terms of what it seems to be about. In terms of weapons, it is the daggers. Or I should say, the main hand. Dagger, mostly. The second one was already a thing, I believe. Let's not tackle them just yet. The very least, when I'm using that skill, I'm not... It's not as... Obvious as the um, color trails on that one. But um, the dagger seems to be a Kandi thing mostly. To do with poison and bleed. A bit of a vulnerability, so probably something like a power Kandi would be ideal with the daggers. I'm not sure how preferred that would be among players, or at least those that ha have actually like messed around with this class in general. I know I'm still a little in the experimentation phase with it, but that's a bit of me. Let's see if I can... I'm not quite sure. It's not as obvious as that, so I assume those are older animations in the mix. Does that poison? Does that bleed? Yes. Now we know. It's got some practicality to it, but not as much as I was hoping for with what I already had kind of going. So I guess there goes that idea. So I'm guessing <laughs> I might actually have to stick with whatever I had kind of planned out ahead of time for myself. Side note, that does apparently cause some amount of vulnerability, but I don't think it would be for long enough for me to really care too much about it in just a power scenario. So I'm going to revise the power bit and say it's more so Condi for sure. Six stacks of bleed. Lots of things that give poison. Yeah. More bleed stacks. Cripple. 
And I'm just plain not built for Kandi at all on this character. But, um, the skills for for this uh, elite specialization are stances when it comes to the utilities. To my understanding, it's most mainly buffs, like 100% uh, endurance regeneration. Condi conditions are consumed for healing every second. So this is probably like you use a decent amount of Condi, but you can also take a bit of Condi. But um, let's see. Increased duration of boons you grant. Striking foes grants you might and inflicts poison. So yeah, definitely for Kandi in general. And why do they know where I am? Or don't they? Maybe not. That was probably just a fluke. <coughs> this one's supposed to prevent like things that keep me from moving. Though I kind of wish it could do a bit more. But that is a lot of stability, I must say. <laughs> Let's actually take a look at what the wolf stance does. Wolf, one wolf pack? Striking a foe causes them to be attacked again after a short delay. So yeah, it's take your pick amongst those and combine whatever else of your previous old skills with that based on your build and fighting preferences. Let's try this on for size. Quite a lot of DPS. New build? Oh, there you go. What? Definitely some decent DPS. That's not including beast mode yet. This music is tense. Now let's try this on Versailles. Now as you can see, got a bit of something a little different. cool. That was a 9k hit. <laughs> that was my 3 with the um... With the rock gazelle? Yeah, that was neat. So when you go into beast mode, you gain a few skills relevant of like the pet you've had out, so let's actually switch pets. Let's see which ones transfer over with this. Seal yourself and lash out at nearby foes. That's that smoke one, basically. And for some reason it has that slam down skill also. have this pet. Oh, it's over here too. Sick. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, very nice. Just take a bit of getting used to and figuring out how I should probably be properly attacking. Example of that. When they have their little shield thing up, you can't really hit them too well, so that's perfectly acceptable. On most characters, I typically have troubles just killing them quickly. Let's find a different bunch. Like perhaps this. Oh, he died fast. What was that, like three hits? That was pleasant. But if I could be a little less condition heal based, that would be a little more fantastic in my opinion. So I guess for the time being, I'm actually going to switch to that one. But I assume for, as I was explaining, world versus world, I can kind of see why it would suggest the other. Because you're going to have some of those Condi heavy foes that are going to harass you. See, so yeah, I guess let's give that a whirl now. A bit more appropriate of a heal, but hmm. Return I think I could rock with it. Let's try the second weapon set to it's adjusted for me. Did I accidentally I keep the... Well then. We heal as one. This is Sword and Axe, is it? I need to try this on another enemy. I need a idea of what I just did. Ah! I don't think I actually realized what the two skill is trying to do. Apparently it's an evasive pull back and go back front to sort of assault. I'm gonna try this on something else. That's not a sand shark. So noteworthy about the Axe 5 skill is that it causes a ton of vulnerability. So yeah, it also causes retaliation. So I can see why it was recommended for this. I 
I think I'm getting a slightly better idea of what I'm looking for. Both of those are veterans. skill. But yeah, that is actually quite more evasive than I was expecting. If this build stuff could shut up, that'd be fantastic. So I did get to test this on some players, and I did kill about two thieves with this. They died really quickly. Just all of the hurt, quite literally. Although they might have been just really glass. I'm not really sure which. But I'm about to find out. Next time I actually run into someone. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yes, that was delightful. Okay, not too bad. Now at this point, the map just became Zerg Warfare, so... Yeah, I guess that's a little whatever at this point for testing it. So to my understanding, the combo that I would be expected to do is along the lines of my 2 skill, then a successful version of the 5 skill, then that would reset the cooldown from the 2 skill, and then I can finish that up with the the F3 skill. And that in turn is a ton of DPS that would be able to like go through a regular player on their own, to my understanding, according to the build guide on it. Of course, I'm also using the watered down version of the build, where like I'm only doing exotic and not all my gear is Marauder stats. And to top that off, I haven't really quite experimented with a sword and axe in the case scenario should I end up using them. Now, I assume that's mostly for weakening foes and causing a lot of damage while still keeping up my evasive maneuvers, but I feel like that's a time and place kind of thing. Say, I'm on my cooldowns with my greatsword. But either way, I want to be in Soul Beast mode for this, so I can get this buff. And just increasingly 
do a ton of damage. I think this was able to be like variated with uh, another skill, but I forget which it was. It might have been this one. In which case, that would allow me to keep up um, my high damage stats longer. Tamed shark. And that in turn would be quite useful for me to dealing high damage for a long time to really start killing more and more players. You know, assuming they don't suddenly like gang up on me and be like, oh, you're really glass. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh my. It's like an 18 slot or something. This one's an 18 slot. Oh, that last one's an 18 slot also. Get rid of a defector. Oh my god. <laughs> 184 slots, and I could still keep going by like um, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, plus a 32, so 104 more slots. I could add to this. <laughs> oh my. I. Mm. I guess there'll probably still be a bit more counting if I'm including the amount I can add into this. Hmm. But yeah, this is gonna keep me pretty busy. <laughs> oh god. That's gonna be so costly, I'm scared. So I did a bit of math, the maximum amount of inventory space is basically, it's 300. You can have 12 slots of shared inventory, and then 32 s times 9, essentially, of inventory space. The 32 times 9, like that's 288. And then plus the 12 shared inventory slots. That's a solid 300. I'm excited. <laughs> well, kind of excited. I am not excited to make more of these bags. These are... These are very expensive. <laughs> like, um... I had to sell a precursor that I didn't want. I just sort of ended up with. I sold it, and... Yeah. That's where part of these came from. More so it finished one, and then it got the other started. So I had to figure out how to fork up more gold for that, so I ended up selling materials. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be <laughs> a hell of a project. I can't wait to see how it is going to be like to just scroll through it all. It's going to take me forever to scroll to the bottom of my inventory. <laughs> so aside from the new Winster's Day appearance package, there isn't much else particularly new to Winter's Day specifically. The match starts soon. I'm just going to do this last round here. In PvP, just to see, I can really manage any 
notably Hold on to your points. better there. results of use of this class as it's intended in this case scenario because this is roughly the kind of size of enemy numbers team numbers it's sort of described so I had the impression that You've this might actually be hand. decent with um, PvP just a tad bit at the very least Your enemy took the mine. maybe not necessarily fully but at least somewhat That was actually half decent. Spawniers return. The keep is yours. I must say that went quite decently. It could also be that the people I've just sort of teamed up with are also pretty decent. But it is notable that I definitely do a ton of DPS. much in my favor. What class is he? Yeah, Guardian. Makes sense to me. They have the most random pop-up surprise blocks of any class. So that was more within expectancy. That's not too far fetched. Let's see. Looks like mid's gonna be a disaster field, but I think they would be able to possibly hold it. The keep's been lost. That's a decent amount of Condi going, but that's like all of our people over there at the time being. Hmm. What? What was that from? You've taken the mine. Hmm. Seems I want to go north. Four on one with that much defense of two guardians on their side. That's not gonna go too well for me. Time to do some real damage. I feel good. Hold on. Not enough Got all those blocks, but when he's trying to finish me, he only has one. <laughs> I can just wait this out, I'm pretty sure. Wait. I just realized he was basically dead. 
<laughs> I just realized, wait, he's one hit away from dying. Let's do that. <laughs> Seen bad buttons. What am I thinking? That one's just pure range. I have no hope of killing them from here. And it's perfectly fine because this game is in our favor. I haven't actually tried this pet. I kind of feel bad for them. Another personal victory. That went well. Your team is victorious. Bye-bye. So, the conclusion of that is that the average Joe is essentially screwed with that. <laughs> because of all the DPS of it. Which is perfectly fine to me. But I really do need to get more used to what this is all about. Like, I know what this does. This inflicts tons of vulnerability and a ton amount of damage. So that's not a problem. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm 41Solstice25, Winter Solstice 8. And you have yourselves a great day and a merry, merry Christmas, happy holidays, etc. Bye-bye.